Hello guys, I'm back after so many days and I hope you guys are doing pretty well. Today, I am gonna talk about some couple of free to play games. Not couple of them, but one specifically. I have given some good amount of time checking out the Steam and found out some free to play games and I thought that in the upcoming time maybe i should give a try out to all those free to play games which is available on steam and out of which i have got hold on one of the game which is named as caliber well if i give you some slight zest about caliber it's actually a team based game well it's a tactical third person shooter which focuses on you know, special forces of multiple countries all over the world actually yeah I mean comprising it could be multiple special forces of one particular country and it has four classes four classes assault support marksman and the third one i certainly forgot but it, it has four classes okay it has more than 60 operators to be very specific it will give you an, an op option to play player versus player player versus enemy player versus player and then player versus player and versus enemy there itself so it has almost like six to seven modes within the game and to be very honest i have downloaded this game yesterday which is 21st of june 2023 gave give it a try i played it for, from like around um, let me check how much uh, well yeah uh, i have given it a play of uh, five five hours specifically let's say let we can say it's six hours and within that six hours of gameplay i have found out a couple of things which i liked it and certainly which i didn't like it things like when you get into the game it's completely free to play so you actually do not have to put any sort of money uh to get access of anything uh within the game but yeah that that does not mean it does not have a store system it does op offers you to uh do transactions in the game itself and um uh, well th there's the point when it comes to like items which are purchasable everything is purchasable by the way but you need certain coins if you are going to buy that coins it's quite not cheap it's not that cheap it's it's quite costly so the items which comes free of cost is like the uh, weapon skins the operator skins some can be purchased uh, through the credits which you get in in game itself by playing suddenly when you are coming in this game it will give you a premium access for almost around 21 to 22 hours likely it it was around 20 maybe 27 hours i guess uh, i don't remember specifically but that's what you get and being in premium means it, it offers you some extra xp and that extra xp yields you some extra credit i would say and that that very credit is being used uh to upgrade your operators yeah you can actually up upgrade your operators like specifically some uh, extra carryable plates um some additional items all this cost you some credits to upgrade in each operator so you know all that four classes has its base uh you know operator or operator ranks uh followed by you know the upcoming ranks and then you can actually purchase it if you uh keep on playing and get on that specific credits at some point of time you would be able to purchase more uh better operators in the section of operators itself and uh honestly more than that what I didn't like about the game, you know, beside all the f other factors which I like, the thing which I didn't like is it takes some good amount of time to put you into the match. That does not mean that it takes uh, too long to connect uh, any of the ongoing matches. It's, it's quite uh, like fuzzy, like uh, when you click on the battle selected after, after you select any specific mode, uh, which is maybe play, player versus player or player versus uh, uh, the annihilation mode is certainly player versus player like a team that not a team that match I would say it's like elimination mode yeah where four teammates of yours four teammates of the opponents there I mean the first team whichever uh, finishes the opponent team will be the winner so in that annihilation mode and the another um, TDM kind of match I would say yeah TDM kind of a match that two matches takes hell a lot of time to get into the match first of all depending upon the class which you select it will show you a time frame of maybe one to two minutes sometimes even three minutes 
which can get stretched for four minutes or five minutes initially when you are in the lobby itself. Secondly, the moment you get, uh, you know, pass through that and gets uh, into the lobby of the gameplay, again, it, it has some time frame there itself, around 40 to 30 seconds maybe. And once you are gone through that again even before the match actually starts there is another 27 to 30 seconds uh, time frame so this is uh, that portion this, this is the portion where which i felt uh, should have been made a little bit more easier in terms of matchmaking uh, it's it's kind of a very elongated process to get into the game itself ah uh, second second point would be the character movements although yeah if we if we are playing in keyboard and mouse any game be, let it be uh, call of duty let it be any other game such as uh, even the fps shooting games such as uh, apex or even your pubg pc all all, all those sort of games would have that movements with a s d and all that stuff but this game have certainly some clunky movements when you do that and uh, yeah the sprint of the operators would uh, could have also been uh, you know done much better as it is right now also it's quite okay to say that this is a free to play game on top of it uh, but then since it is offering certain purchasable items in the game and they are taking actual money out of those uh, transactions i think uh, this certain features should have been even offered in much better way and to talk about the guns yeah Guns are exclusive to specific operators. Here you cannot actually select any guns. So in order to get a different gun, you just have to switch the operator altogether. Number third uh, would be uh, prices. The prices are too high. I mean, if you just simply hope to buy any operator with the credits, it's uh, going to consume a hell lot of uh, gameplay hours to you. I currently stand uh, like since it was uh, I, I got a couple of bonuses as well there is some daily bonuses that too and comp compiling all that uh, I currently stand at somewhere around 120,000 uh, credits like that specifically and normally even the base the, the next operators which you can unlock after your base operators it costs you around 100,000 uh, 150,000 like that and the uh, better the operators are it the number keeps on increasing that's the key here about uh, purchasing the operators and as i said even that particular operator can be upgraded enhanced it can be enhanced its skills can be enhanced you can add certain skills into that so that too cost credits that's what i meant and uh, Beside, beyond that, if I go on to say that uh, on point number four, uh, it would be a positive factor. The game is not that very fast paced. I mean, if you like to enjoy, if you want to feel the zest of uh, some shooting games, this could be a moderate one. It's not that very fast paced. You just have to have a game sense. And the maps, the maps are quite limited to its size. Like it's, it's not huge. It's normal. Yeah. Along with the map, I remember one more point. Uh, you remember, right? The point where I mentioned the movements, the movements the movement seems clunky not only clunky but it limits you certain movements like you cannot you cannot vault over uh, any of the items you see in, in the game right even though the height seems to be pretty normal you won't be able to vault it only certain spaces certain areas can be vaulted with uh, space you can jump over it that's 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 another thing which i feel that it could have been given a free space for the players to do any sort of movements um Similarly, there is one more one more game uh, that is your Wilted Experts. Well, I guess I have posted one video about the game as well. That game itself is also a free to play game. However, that one had much better movements than this game, Caliber. But yeah, the gun mechanics uh, in this game certainly feels okay for this kind of games. Uh, although, uh, again, uh, uh, there is a, a sort of recoil feeling while you shoot uh, different uh, operators, uh, guns and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, uh, that's all you can do in this game. It's a TDM kind of a based game, which uh, you can have fun with uh, random players. And of course, yeah, if you play against the player versus enemy mode, you will have your uh, teammates. Of course, that will be real players, not bots. But when you play against the uh, enemies, which is the bots, 
don't think that the bots are, the bots are very casual like they do have a certain uh, amount of uh, you know toughness it can deal you a good amount of damages and uh, yeah it is quite deadly there is one mode where you can actually uh, play with uh, your teammates it will have a wave till wave 6 and you have to survive actually in that uh, mode well if i go on uh, to explain all the modes it will take a huge amount of time so i'm gonna attach some clips of this game here if you like uh, you can go out to this team and uh, download this game and give it a try maybe if you feel like playing it it would it might suit your taste of gameplay i certainly uh, have a 30 to 70 ratio uh, of uh, you know figure in terms of this game i like 30 percent 70 percent i didn't like it all because of its uh, uh clunkiness and the kind of uh, store mechanism it has the things are too costly i mean if i had to spend uh for a game like this that amount of money i i, I would rather choose to spend uh the actual money for games like call of duty which definitely even even when i have a call of duty game i refrain from using actual money in the game uh, very very rarely i i decide to spend money when i think that there is something very interesting coming up but for this game if you go ahead and check the store prices you will be pretty much upset up to see the prices it's not worth it it's just like if you really enjoy this uh like want to chill out having some gunfight then I think it's not that bad of a game to try it out. Well, that's all for this video. I'm gonna check out more free to play games from the stream library. And uh, we'll keep on bringing that just in case if you might like any one of them. Go ahead and download it, check it out. And beside that, uh, do leave a like on this video. Um, my channel's reach has certainly dropped a lot all because uh, uh, I myself is not also that very regular with uh, the video thing and all and uh, suddenly my editing skills maybe uh, not that up to the mark or maybe the kind of content uh, I'm putting in is not that attractive but whatever it is uh, I would expect that if you are watching this video do leave some kind of feedback or any comments that you like about the game you have about the game or the channel specifically uh, I'd be happy to read it and uh, maybe if I can implement that it would be very great for me both and you too as a viewer thank you so much for tuning in on this video uh, have a great day ahead take care of yourself